Do you ever feel like you are doing things the hard way in Excel? Today I'm sharing five game-changing tips that most users wish they would have discovered years ago. I'm Nabil Murad, and whether you are looking to skyrocket your productivity or create stunning reports, these tricks will change your workflow. This is part of an ongoing series, so there is plenty more to learn. Let's jump right in. In this example, we have a list of months and a percentage of increase in each month. I want to visualize these numbers in a creative variation of a bar chart with data labels. So I use a repeat function with symbols. In cell C2, I type equal repeat. I open a double quotation and then I open the emojis dialog box with the shortcut windows period. I click on the symbols tab and I select this dash symbol. I close the double quotation, and then I type a comma. This is the symbol I want to repeat, and the number of time will be cell B2, but I multiply it by 20 to increase the number. I close the bracket for the repeat function. I use the joining operator of Excel Shift 7, and for the rounded end of the bar chart, I need a circle. I type a double quotation, and then I open the symbols dialog box one more time, Windows period. From the symbols tab, I select this circle, and then I close the double quotation. I use another joining operator of Excel, and this time I want the data label in cell B2, but because it's a percentage, I multiply it by 100, and then I want the percentage symbol. Then I use one last joining operator, and in double quotation, I type percentage, and then I hit enter. I created a beautiful variation of the bar chart. I can double click and send it down. I do have some conditional formatting. Let's test by recalculating, then everything looks beautiful and dynamic. When you have a list of employee names and their phone numbers, and you want to keep the phone number private, then I'm going to use a regex replace function to hide the number. In cell B2, I type regex replace, my text will be cell A2, comma, and the pattern I want, I type 0 9 in square brackets in double quotes. I type a comma, and what's the replacement? I want an asterisk, a star, I type it in double quotation. I close the bracket, and then I hit enter. By the way, I could replace the 0 9 by a backslash and character D. That will do the same exact job. I double click and send it down, and we were able to hide the phone number. In this example, I have some sales transactions for different regions, and I want in column A to create a serial number that starts to renumber with every different region. And to do that, I select the entire column, I hit the shortcut F5, I click on special, I select blanks and then I hit OK. Then I create an N function, equal N. I select cell A1. I close the bracket and I add 1. To populate the function, I hit Control Enter. And I was able to create a column of serial number that resets with each region. In this example, I want to create in column A some fancy serial numbers. And I'm going to use a unicare function to do that. In cell A2, I type equal unicare. I open bracket, and I want row of cell A1 plus 9311. I hit enter, and now I can double click and send it all the way down. And I was able to create a column of beautiful numbers. If you have a work situation where you need to hide and unhide columns, like in this example, if I want to hide columns B, C, D, E, instead of right-clicking and select Hide, and then right-click and select Unhide, I will be using a shortcut, Shift, Alt, and Right Arrow, that creates this collapse symbol, and if I click on the collapse symbol, the minus sign, I'm hiding the columns. If I click on the plus sign, I'm revealing the columns. Should you wish to remove this outline, then you use the shortcut Shift, Alt, and Left Arrow, and we are back to what we had before. That wraps up our five tips. Drop a comment below. 
and let me know which of these tips was the most surprising to you. If you found these helpful, please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next part of this series. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.